Hello and welcome to this pelvic focus class. The pelvis is typically an area where we tend to hold a lot of constriction, stagnation, and this results in pain. Sometimes that pain becomes chronic. And if you're someone who suffers with it, this practice is gonna be perfect for you. It's gonna teach you how to reconnect to your body and how to offer it some very gentle practices that realign it with your soul and that actually allow for that stuck energy to begin flowing there and for that stagnation to release. So for this class, you're gonna need two blocks, so have those at hand and let's begin. I invite you to sit in easy pose in the middle of your mat. You can close your eyes gently. Place your hands on your knees, straighten your spine, make sure both your sit bones are planted on the mat, and extend the crown of your head to the sky, imagining a straight line running from your sacrum to the top of your head. Sit tall, soften your shoulders, And begin by taking a few deep breaths in and out, settling into this moment, into this practice. And we're gonna be working with your root chakra, with the energy in your pelvis that perhaps feels like it's not circulating at the moment, it feels like it's stuck, and you wanna help release it so let's set our intention on supporting our pelvis today for releasing that pain that we might be feeling. Take a deep breath in. And with your breath out, release the shoulders, sink the shoulders and release the jaw as well. Notice if there's extra tension in the jaw that tends to be very much related to attention in the pelvis too. Take a breath in. And with the breath out, again, release the jaw, release the shoulders, and really feel this relaxation spreading through your whole body, all the way down to your pelvis. One more time, breath in. And breath out, release. Well done. You can gently open your eyes, grab the two blocks in your hands, place them on the side of your mat, and we're going to meet reclining. Softly lower yourself down to your mat. Let's connect here in corpse pose. Open your arms next to you. Open your legs slightly, let them drop to the sides and just reconnect to the floor, reconnect to the mat. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. On the next breath in, bring your legs close to your body. We're gonna drop into a butterfly pose. So get your blocks ready if you need them. If you don't need them, you can just simply discard them on the side of the mat. And for this butterfly pose, what you want is bring the soles of your feet together and open your legs to the side so that your knees are dropping onto the blocks if need be, if you can manage without blocks. Let them just fall freely. And this is a moment where we start connecting with our pelvis. So place your hands on your pelvic area. You can place them on the pelvic bones or wherever it feels comfortable for you, wherever you feel like your body is asking you for support. And once again, let's reconnect here. It's really important when you're dealing with pelvic pain to connect to whatever sensations your body is sending you. So as you stay in this pose, focus on releasing 
that clenching sensation in the pelvis with every out breath so that you're creating more space in the pelvis. We're gonna take 10 deep breaths here so you really have time to find your place, to find what feels comfortable here. So feel free to close your eyes. And remember to think about not just the physical body, but also the subtle body. And what does that have to do with any pelvic pain you might be experiencing? Usually pelvic pain happens because there is way too much constriction in the pelvis. And this very often happens because of too much stress, because of too much clinging and not letting go of certain things. So while we're here in this pose, I invite you to think of something in your life that you feel like you're clinging on to too much and that it's not serving you, that it's bringing up some discomfort perhaps. And see if with every out breath in this pose, you can release that clinging out of your body, both in a physical and an emotional sense. So as you breathe in, expand your chest and as you breathe out, expand your pelvis, maybe help yourself with your hands to really open up your pelvis wide. And imagine that energy of clinging, of stagnation and of constriction flowing right out of you. And treat this as a meditation into your pelvis. So whenever you're suffering with any acute or chronic pain, you can always resort to your body, always offer it support. Keep breathing here, deep breaths and visualize all that energy that doesn't serve you being expelled out of your pelvis on each out breath. Notice if there's still any contraction happening in your pelvis as you try to breathe out, if there's any resistance. Accept it and invite it to flow out of you. One last deep breath in. And breath out, completely release, open, and let go. Well done. On the next in-breath, bring your knees back up so that they come to touch. You can leave your hands resting on your pelvis. Just keep giving your pelvis that support here. And wherever you feel like you're feeling that pain, whenever that pain comes up for you, just place your hands there. Maybe this is your lower belly. Maybe these are your hip bones. Wherever you feel like you need that extra warmth and energy from your hands, place them there. And from here, on your next out breath, Gently again, open your legs out to butterfly pose. And as you do so, notice if you can release any contraction that happened as a result of bringing the knees in. So we're gonna work with the natural contraction and release of the pelvis and of all the hip muscles in this movement. So as you come in, breathe in, knees come together, Notice a slight contraction in your pelvis. Don't clench the pelvis, but notice what is naturally happening. And as you breathe out, open your legs and notice the natural expansion and relaxation of your pelvis. Breathe in and really tune in into the sensations in your lower body right now. How is it communicating with you? How does it feel? Breathing in and out without clenching. Just allowing that natural physical force to happen in your body. Move with the breath. 
and see if it's getting a bit easier to recognize those natural contractions and the natural relaxations. And once you get a hang of it, try to exaggerate the relaxation. So every time you come down, breathe out loudly through your mouth and really release very strongly any kind of stagnation that you might be having in your hips. Let your knees drop to the side, breathe in and breathe out. In and out. And one more time. In well done. Bring your knees back to the middle of the mat to meet. Just recenter here for a moment. You can, for this part of the practice, place your hands next to you or you can keep them on your pelvis, whatever feels better. So I like to prefer, I prefer to put them next to me for extra stability, just to really help me stabilize and solidify my body in these poses so that I feel supported. What we're going to do here is for a few times, we're going to play with the posterior and anterior tilt of our pelvis. So essentially, we're going to be doing small cat cows reclining. So imagine that with every in-breath, you are creating and ex um, exaggerating that natural curve of your lower back. And with every out-breath, you're pressing that lower back into the mat. So let's meet in this pose. You can place your hands, whatever that's comfortable for you. Let's take a deep breath in and round and exaggerate that curve in your lower back. Open your chest to the sky. And as you breathe out, release any contraction and try to press your lower back into the mat as much as possible. Again, trying not to clench your pelvis too much, but allow the natural contraction that is happening there. You're regaining control over your pelvic muscles. With the breath in, natural curve in the lower back, extend chest opens to the sky see how much of a back bend you can get here what feels good and as you breathe out release and glue your lower back to the mat and start playing with this movement in a more fluid way see if that pelvis is allowing for some play here maybe there's some extra space that you're creating that you never felt because of all this pain and stagnation that you're experiencing so let's allow that alive energy to circulate in your pelvis again so with every in breath you come up and arch your back shine your chest your heart to the sky and with every out breath glue that lower back to the floor and really feel that connection of your whole spine with the earth. Try to establish a fluid movement here. This is really for you. This practice is all about reconnecting to your body, to your pelvis and to the energy that you have there, to the power that you have there. Take a few moments here to really make this movement your own and to feel that you can regain control over your pelvic area, no matter how painful it can become sometimes. One more time here and breathe out. Well done. Return to center with a neutral spine. There should be a slight arch in your lower back. 
but not exaggerated. You can again place your hands next to you for support. For this next exercise, we're gonna be moving our pelvis around an imaginary clock that's been placed below your sacrum. So imagine there's a clock laying below your sacrum, below your lower back, and you're trying to circle around it clockwise and then counterclockwise with this movement. So we're gonna repeat five times to each side. It takes some time to get used to, but once you get it, it's a super playful move that is really making the energy in your pelvis become alive. And that is reinvigorating all that stagnancy and stuckness in your pelvis that can lead to so much pain and constriction. So we meet in a neutral spine and with the next in-breath, we're gonna be very slowly shifting our weight almost unnoticeably to the side and trying to map that clock with our pelvis. So imagine you're making an imaginary circle with your pelvis around that clock that is laying on the floor below you. You're moving into a full circle here. These movements are very, very subtle that there's nothing really showing up on the camera or for anyone else that might be looking, but it is such a potent move that is bringing your pelvis back online. So really take time here to reconnect to your body and to feel if there's anything extra crunchy on any side of the pelvis. Is there some stuckness that you cannot move past? So keep making these small circles with your pelvis around that clock two more times before we switch sides. And keep breathing through the whole practice. Don't forget the breath, don't forget your anchor. And recenter. With the next in breath, begin making your circle around the clock to the opposite side. Very gentle and soft movements here. You don't need to be arching your back too much. You don't need to be moving too much. Just really feel what is coming up for you. Are you able to map that clock, go around that clock in a fluid way? Or is there still a lot of constriction? Is there still something to work through? Well, now you have a practice to return to. One more time before we meet back in center. And release. Well done, you can place your hands on your hips here, stretch out your legs. Let them drop to the side to really gain some space here in your pelvis. Maybe massage your pelvic bones if that feels good. Maybe just let your hands, let your palms of your hands rest on your lower belly. Give it some extra love. Give it some much needed alive energy. A deep breath in and a deep breath out. With the next breath in, bring up your right leg into half happy baby pose. You're gonna try to grab your toes with your two fingers and open that leg to the side by opening also the other leg to the side. The pelvic bones are really going far ahead from each other. So open here, try to glue both of your sit bones to the mat as much as possible and try to make sure that this 
extended leg is really strong and flexed and on the mat that it's not coming up from the mat or tilting you to the side you really have a strong root here you might notice that your glutes are constricting a little bit let them this is a natural effect of the pose and rest here pressing your lower back into the mat for a few deep breaths If you can visualize pressing and opening that extended leg even more so that you create this extra space in that hip, in that side of your body, and slowly on the out breath, release the half happy baby and we center. Breath in, grab the toes of the other leg, press with the arm, press with the hand into the straightened hip bone, press the leg into the mat, making sure there's contact, flex that straight leg, flex the happy baby leg, and breathe here, creating extra space in the pelvis. Notice how you're stretching your hip flexor. Notice how you're opening your hips deeply in this pose. And if there's any discomfort coming up for you, perhaps. Breathe out and release. We recenter one last time and we meet in full happy baby pose. So grab both your toes with your hands you're trying to glue your lower back to the mat here so don't come up too much in order to bring those legs up that's not as important as keeping a straight spine here and really aligning the body that's what your body is craving right now some realignment some space and as you stay in this happy baby pose Notice how the weight of your pelvis shifted. Notice how there's weightlessness. And maybe close your eyes here. Move and shift from side to side, massaging your lower back and experiencing that weightless feeling, that decompression, deep decompression that is happening in your pelvis right now. Take some breaths here. Connect to the sensations of your body. And one last breath in. And on the last breath out, release the toes, release the legs to the side. Stay here in your final Shavasana pose. And you can place your hands on your hips or your lower belly once again. And integrate the class, integrate everything that came up for you in this practice. Notice if there is a difference in how your pelvis feels, if there's maybe a little bit more space, a little bit more ease in that pelvis. And spend a few moments taking note of everything that comes up in your body right now. Are there any discomforts? Are there any pains? Are there any pleasurable sensations? Just honor those and be present with your body. And be present with the constriction that happens in your pelvis. Be present with the pain that you might be experiencing even now in your pelvis. And try not to fight it. Try not to react to it 
but welcome it instead and invite it to work with you, to practice with you, and to perhaps release. Allow it to release out of you. And remind yourself of that little visualization we did at the beginning of the class. Is there anything that you are clinging on to in your life right now that might be bringing about the constriction in your pelvis because everything in the body is connected? Is there anything that you can let go of that may help you with your pain too? And bring that to your thought right now and with the next in-breath imagining rising in your body imagine it bringing about some discomfort and with the next deep out breath you're releasing that out completely out of your system out of your pelvis <sighs> letting it go no more constriction and you can stay here in this pose for as long as you wish as long as you need to integrate this practice for i want to thank you for joining me and i hope that your pelvic pain gets better i hope that you feel better and that this practice is going to be something that is continuously going to help you release stagnation release pain and heal you Thank you. Namaste.